all right guys welcome back survival living here so today i have a solar generator review one of those portable solar generators this thing here is the captain 700 it is a product from virgo pool now we have done reviews in the past for a couple of their different types of solar generators and i do like these because they are very budget friendly but they still pack a punch as far as power goes so the unit itself is right over here looks small this thing can do a lot but i want to go ahead and cover what's in this box that they actually sent us so we have an accessory box here. It came with all the cables and stuff. I'm going to set that out. That does have the user guide. It's got the manuals. They sent us some stickers and other information, warranty card, things of that nature. As far as charging up, you know, all your information is there. So these things are very simple to use. Uh, power cords. They sent us three different types of power cords. One is your basic AC power plug. You just plug right into the wall and plug it right into the unit. Next up, we have a DC charge cable. Let me get it open. DC charge cable uses a cigarette lighter and a Anderson adapter to charge this up. Now, Anderson adapters have been making the way with solar systems for a good while now. MC4 connectors, barrel plugs, Anderson adapters. So if you're using uh, your cigarette lighter on a vehicle to charge up or a gasoline generator which is like ours we have one on our gasoline generator you could use that and then you have the mc4 connector with the anderson plug so you use mc4 connectors to your solar panel and the anderson plug plugs into the actual unit itself to charge so you have three different ways of charging one regular ac power whether it be a generator or in your home for storage two a dc plug it's got the cigarette lighter you can use your vehicle or gasoline generator to charge up with or solar so guys what we want to do now is go ahead and go into the actual unit itself this is it all right it weighs a little less than 20 pounds it's got outlets on the back emergency lighting and the thing is with this unit and also several other other units is these can be hooked up to the exact same one for double the battery power capacity that's right two of these 700s you can actually hook up with the parallel port back here and the appropriate cable from them and plug in a secondary and you now have two 700 watt systems connected together and now that just increased doubled your battery bank and power unit now let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to charge this thing up, which I've already have. Uh, you get a little foot lid right down here on the bottom. You got your AC plug in right here on this side. You have a reset button right here in the center. And you have your Anderson connection right here. That will be for your DC charge or if you're using solar. Okay. So if you're using your car battery or your cigarette lighter, I'm sorry, on a car or solar panel, you plug in here. And that over there is for your regular AC. So very easy to use. It has a uh, reset button up front, also down in the inside. A simple power on, power off switch. Layer thing. Kick on here, we are at 100%. I don't know if the camera is actually picking this up because the camera I'm using sometimes, these LED screens, looks like a rolling flash. It doesn't look like that in real life. It's just the way the lighting is. We also have a DC output here. If you got DC current, uh, current appliances you want to be using right here, that'll do that. If you want to use that, you just turn the switch on over here for your DC. USB ports, we have four USB ports. We have USB A's and also C's. You got two of each. If you want to use those, just hit your switch. Turns right on. But let's go ahead and get into the major testing, which is right here on the back. This is our AC outlets. This is where we're going to be looking for. This is pure sine wave, 120 volts, 700 watts. So to turn on our AC unit, just hold the button and it turns on. Now, here in the house, we use solar. So everything here runs off our solar grid. What I have behind me, I've got a reverse osmosis system for purification of water. We have a mini fridge. That's what we use for our refrigerator. So we're going to plug these things in and see if the 700 watt system can run them. All right, so what we're going to do first, we have our reverse osmosis system here. I am going to unplug it. 
our lighting has went off so that shows that it is unplugged and we are going to plug into the back of our system here power should be on reverse osmosis just kicked on I'm gonna put my coffee cup here that way I can catch any water all right it says that we are currently using 22 watts currently is the output of the system running the reverse osmosis as soon as the filtration is done we are going to hit water there we go and we're going to get us some water here and we're going to keep track we're using 24 watts it tells 18 watts it says that we've got 18 hours of operation with this unit now I went back up to 19 because it is now stopped 19 hours we can run this water filtration for 19 hours on the single charge of this system all right now i do know that the reverse osmosis system does not use a lot of power and that's why we like having it here because we use solar on everything next up is our mini fridge okay our mini fridge is how we keep our food cold all right we have a freezer department in it and also lower section there this is what we use in this house all the time so what we need to do is unplug it from the wall which is back here And what we need to do is plug it in the back so we can turn on our refrigerator. Now, I'm going to wait for the system to kick back on. It's got a display shut off so you're not burning up a lot of power. All right, guys, so now that we have our mini fridge plugged in, it says that we have 55 hours of power for the mini fridge. Now, I know that's not going to be correct because right now the doors are sealed. It means all the uh, coolant and everything's shut in. The compressor is not kicked on. So let me turn that display back on. We're going to open up the doors. All right. The lighting in there says that we're burning 16 watts of power. Uh, we knocked our battery supply down to 27 to 28 watts. I mean, 28 hours is what it says. That we've, if we left the doors all the way open on the mini fridge this entire time, we'd be burning 16 watts of power for 27 to 28 hours. All right, guys, next up down here in Florida, you have to move air when the power goes out or it's just miserable. And some people would definitely need air just to stay alive. All right, you have to cool down your house or have to have air moving. So we've got one of our floor fans. I know it is dirty. It's because we use it all the time. We're going to plug this in. And again, this is pure sine wave on these. Easiest way to tell is when you hook up a fan, if you hear a lot of whining noises, you know you don't have a pure sine wave system. So I'm going to turn this on high. I'm going to step away from the fan. says I can currently run this for eight hours at 83 watts is what this floor fan will run is 83 watts an hour and it says I can run it for eight hours on high so I'm going to switch it down to level two run is 70 watts for nine hours straight and we're going to put it on one 56 watts at 11 and it bounced down to 10 so let's just say 10 hours running a box fan with this system for 10 hours straight on low now this one here guys is wishful thinking this is only a 700 watt system but i have our window unit air conditioned here so we've got our cord we're going to plug into the back side here and we'll see <laughs> if it'll run it honestly I think it might run it for maybe an hour and that's about it all right we're going to put our display on i'm going to turn this on high cool currently 400 500 watts are being used 512 watts being used it says that we have 74 minutes of use for air condition so we did get an hour out of it we're going to get an hour of air condition out of this little 700 watt system again we are down to 489 watts currently the air condition is on high cool max cool on the fan and currently 78 79 minutes let's see if i can get this in camera for you guys 
yeah so this small unit can run an air condition for an hour so anyway guys this thing is actually pretty pretty much a little beast all right that's 700 watts it can run an air conditioner for an hour that that's impressive um i've thrown larger solar generators at an air condition and it won't even power it up even though supposedly they were ready rated over they just couldn't do it 700 watts could and it could run it for an hour that's important and the reason why i'm going to say it's important in an emergency situation, someone is overheating you yeah, in an air conditioner for an hour. It's not going to last long, but it's enough to cool them down. But that just goes to show that you can throw something major power consumption unit at it. Let's say that you're on CPAP machines. You have to have a CPAP machine or some other medical equipment. You have to have it. This little unit right here, 700 watts. Yeah, it can run an air conditioner for an hour. So it's definitely going to be able to run your medical equipment. So with this, guys, I know there's a light on here. I'm going to find it over here all right so we got a light here most of these things come with a little strobe light and stuff guys so if you have epilepsy or anything like that just look away from right right now we're going to go and cycle through our lights one mode there brighter mode there s that's an emergency light that's sos and then the off switch so there are four modes there's a strobe light and then there's also the sos light guys this thing is actually pretty neat and also it has the wireless charging up top here if your cell phone has that app and you can use wireless charging right there you go uh right up here let me hit that switch you have uh there it goes you have a uh wi-fi signal right there that's for your bluetooth and for your uh wireless on the very top so you just turn that off and to turn off the system just hold it down system turns right off so guys again this is the virgo pool 700 watt this is the captain 700 guys these things are actually budget friendly and i do like them because of that if you know exactly what it is that you want to power up in a grid down situation then you know exactly what size units you need to get again they have different other options that are available but this is the newest one that they sent me for testing and again you can plug this into the exact opposite another 700 watt system and get double the amount of battery power that's actually pretty cool so anyway guys if you're interested in this of course the links are in the description um, having alternative power is very important people don't understand that you need power to survive can you survive without power most can but there's also a lot of people that cannot they have they they dependent on medical equipment we show the mini fridge if you're a diabetic you got to keep your insulin cool how are you going to do that a system like this will keep a refrigerator running it'll keep a mini fridge running you can keep your insulin cool that way so anyway guys definitely appreciate you hanging out with me if you're interested in this of course links are in the description speak to y'all later